Vidya Sagar Raoji, esteemed guests and friends. Namaskar to all of you. Today is the 96th Punyatithi of Lokmane Tilak and it was truly our privilege to join you in paying homage to this great leader. We are truly indebted to you, Honorable Governor, for consenting to our request so readily to release this important report. India at 70, an appeal for the creative makeover of August Kranti Maidan and Azad Maidan by the art and science of place making. Friends, please join me in congratulating my colleague Gautam Kirtane, eminent architect Ratan Bhatli Boy, his colleagues, Sartra's movement and Mansi Sahu for sitting here, and all others for producing this report. We have entered the month of August. In just two weeks, we will be celebrating the 70th Independence Day. And next year, 2017, we'll be celebrating the 70th anniversary of our independence. How do we celebrate this milestone event? Rather, the question is how not to celebrate this very important milestone that's coming soon. Do we allow the invaluable heritage associated with the freedom movement to fade away? Do we allow all the places associated with this heritage to become victims of degradation and neglect both by government and society. Just before coming here on behalf of the Observer Research Foundation, we went to Sardar Graha, as was mentioned in the presentation, the place where uh, Lokman Ritalak lived in Mumbai and also passed away. It's not how we should ever treat our great leaders of the freedom movement. It's an insult to the heroes and martyrs of the freedom movement. 1887 is what gave Azad Maidan its name. 1942 is what gave August Kranti Maidan its name. We are not really grateful to the people who gave us our freedom. And this, we believe, must stop. And this is why we produced this report. Our colleagues conducted a painstaking study, which was both historical in nature and with a very strong architectural component provided by Ratan Bhatli Boy and his team. The salient features of our report have already been presented to you, Honorable Governor. You are the first citizens of, citizen of Maharashtra. We seek your guidance, we seek your support, we seek your blessings in not just protecting these, these sacred places associated with our freedom movement, but also in transforming them in a befitting way. Honorable Governor, you are a leader who walks a talk. You have very recently erected the tallest flat stock. Raj Bhavan and thereby made Raj Bhavan and the proud tricolor visible to the people of Mumbai. Last week when my colleague Gautam and I came to request you to release this report, you graciously presented this book to me. Friends, this is in Telugu, but uh, it records chronicles the amazing journey of our Honorable Governor and uh, the important ways in which he has served the nation and what is relevant to today's occasion is something that he explained to me that day. <coughs> it, is, it is this image. Friends, this is the image of a memorial that he personally impressed in erecting. It is a memorial to the heroes and martyrs of the Hyderabad liberation struggle. And today, 
whenever people talk of Hyderabad liberation struggle, this is the image that tells the story. So, we have come here, Honorable Governor, to make a request and an appeal. We believe that this report should be taken seriously by the government of Maharashtra, by the government of India, because this is not just a state subject. Azad Maidan, August Kranti Maidan, Sardar Gnar, these are places of national importance. So we have come here to request you, to appeal to you, to give a directive to the government of Maharashtra and also request the government of India to take proper care of these places. I can assure you that the people of Mumbai will come forward and participate in any worthy public-private partnership project and experience showed that whenever there is people's participation and people's involvement, the project becomes durable, the people themselves will take care of <coughs> such projects. This is the way we can, we can reignite the spirit of patriotism in the young generation and the generations to come and also the not so young generation. So thank you very much Honorable Governor for giving us this opportunity, in fact honoring the Observer Research Foundation by releasing this report and now we look forward to your guidance and support for implementing this report. Thank you. Thank you.